Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little Marshalls haul. I don't do very many hauls. I don't really like doing hauls actually. I think they're kind of cringy. But we are going to do a haul because I don't do very many hauls. I do hauls for like individual things, but it's very rare that I go to, I go to Marshalls maybe two or three times a year. And I would say that's rare because a lot of people go on the weekly, which is pretty crazy to me. But this is what I got. And I already used one item. I've been waiting to use everything else and open them for this haul. And this was a few days ago. So I did just do a short on this shampoo. I recently went to, uh, to get my hair done and she said my hair needed hydration. Um, it's healthy, but it needed hydration, which is not the same thing as moisture. I, I use a lot of oils in the hair and oils, she said, just kind of sit in the hair. And there, if you already have, oils are for if you already have healthy hair and you want to seal in the moisture. That's how it was explained to me. So um, I don't think I've ever used a hydrating shampoo. I really kind of stick with my um, Olaplex and Colleen Rothschild because I love the smell. A lot of people hate that smell. I love the smell, but um, I use it for the smell. <laughs> so this is kind of, um, it says it has thyme and sage in it. And I'm trying to figure out what makes it hydration. I mean, I'm stuck with 710 mil, 24 ounces. I'm gonna be using this probably into maybe next year. When it's empty, I'm gonna do a video. How about that? And so I got it at Marshall's for $9.99. And I feel like if you were at a salon, this bad boy would be at least double. Move them over here. Okay, so this is, I don't wanna to spend too long on the products. I don't wanna bore you. Um, Giovanni. 50-50 balancing, hydrating, and clarifying, and I used it this morning for the very first time. I didn't put a conditioner, I didn't put heat protectant, I just wanted to use it to kind of be able to see if there is an actual difference. Um, and obviously, you know, you can't use a shampoo just once and, you know, it's not gonna be a game changer. So I'm gonna use it religiously until, um, you know, give it a, a fair shot. My hair does feel soft, it looks shiny. Um, I used a Hot Tools in it and I put a little bit of hairspray, but I just washed it twice with this. I blow dried it and that is it. And what I'm seeing for the main ingredients with the first ingredient being water, um, up at the top is aloe and there's like aloe leaf, aloe seed, and just straight up aloe. So I'm thinking that aloe is what is going to penetrate in your hair and give each individual strand some moisture because I really don't see anything else that would be hydrating. Okay, just a bunch of stuff that I can't, I can't pronounce, <laughs> but aloe is up there. So we're gonna go with that. And again, it, it says it has a uh, thyme and sage, flower extract, and it smells herbal. I mean, it, it does, it smells, it smells herbal to me. Um, and if you don't like that herbal kind of, I always call it kind of a healthy smell, <laughs> then you probably won't like it. But again, we're adults here. So if your hair needs hydration, give it a go and see. So. That is it for that, okay? So next, I update these once a year. And these are just your basic hair tie, turby twists, and they were $4.99 for two. I usually try to find the two packs that Marshalls or TJ Maxx because for $4.99, $2.50 each, you know, they're just, they do attract lint. They're not the best of the best. I know that everybody raves about ones on Amazon. Um, I think they're like $30 each, and there's just no way I'm spending that. Two fifty each, yes, a pack of, a pack of blue. And again, I just replenish these. I buy them once a year, so. All right, this was new to me. I did watch a couple videos. I know it's wicked gimmicky. Um, it was $3.99, and I wanna do a full video on it and maybe a short. I'll probably end up doing a short on it. So this is basically on-the-go oil control roller. And what are these things? These are, are they clay? It just says replace the ball every 60 days. Remove, oh, vol volcanic ash, really? Okay, twist the top off the roller, remove the locking ring, remove the volcanic ball, clean with mild soap. So basically your nose, um, I don't know if you guys remember in the early 90s when the blotting sheets came out. I'm trying to think of the brand. I think it was clean and clear. They were blue, and I remember begging my mom to get them for me when I was a teenager. Um, and I think she did once, and I think I used them you know, for a bit, I mean, um, I think we all have oily noses because you have pores in your nose, like 
pores need to breathe. You actually want them to be oily. You don't want all that gook and sebum in your in your skin. You want it to be oily. And I guess um, when you're feeling a little oily and you're out and about, this looks like something you, maybe you would keep in your purse and you could just, just like the blotting sheets. Of course, if we're being honest, Kleenex does the same thing. I remember being a kid in school, preteen, oily skin, even teen, and I remember just uh, using toilet paper or Kleenex. And um, if you take a white Kleenex and you press it on your nose when you're feeling a little oily, um, and that was usually in class, um, you could see that it kind of changes the color of the tissue and you know that you'd absorb the oil. That was that. <laughs> okay, so the next is, I brought this Derma E. I recently watched, oh, what's her name? Dawn, Dawn something. She's a beautiful lady, long, long red hair. I love her channel. She kind of inspired me to start my own channel. Um, Anyway, she has beautiful skin, and there is one other person that talked about Dermy. She also has beautiful skin, and I don't remember who it is, and I feel embarrassed because I don't. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, yeah. Anyways, a lot of people are talking about this Derma-E. They're talking about the vitamin C oil, which is amazing, amazing. And I only had a trial size, and I ran out, and I'm using Sunday Riley. Sunday Riley, I think that's what it's called. I am dry, I'm dry, I'm dying to try the this brand of the vitamin C, but I want to use up what I have first because I don't want to hoard a bunch of products. <laughs> so this is Crepey Skin Pre-Treatment Exfoliating Scrub. I thought it was a lotion for crepey skin because we all know when we get eight, when we get older, especially if you lose weight, guys, you're gonna have crepe crepey. No, I can't have it. Let's see. Crepey skin is like just really. I don't know, wrinkly skin. Wrinkles that only you see that bother only you, okay? <laughs> so crepey skin is when you get old, you get, uh, it's just, it's wrinkles. It's basically, crepey skin is wrinkles and it's basically not on your face. It's as we get old, it could be on the chest, it could be on the neck, it could be on the arms and um, legs when you lose weight. So that is why I got it. I thought it was a lotion. And uh, last night when I was reading up, I just realized it says scrub. Dead sea salt, caffeine is supposed to be tightening for the body, and it was $5.99, and it's a very reasonable brand, much like Ordinary, Ethical Beauty. I opened it because I wanted to smell it like everything else. I just opened this like a little bit, but now that we're doing a video, we will open it, and um, keep in mind, I thought it was lotion, so I'm just like, hey, let me just put a bunch on my hands. It's not lotion. It's um, I don't know if you could see the little scrub, very tiny, not, not as much like, ap uh, like apricot, apric apricot scrub, you know, the old apricot scrub that us 80s and 90s girls used, uh, for our face. It's a very light, and I do mean light, like, I mean, very, very light. I suppose it's probably moisturizing as well, but you were supposed to rinse this off, and here I am using it as a lotion because it smells really good. I will rinse my hands after. And it's just tiny little, um, let me see what that is. What type of, what they usually use is seeds, grinded up seeds for exfoliation. Sometimes they'll use sand or sugar. Um, this says water, caffeine is right up at the top. Um, sage again, leaf, aloe, bunch of things that I can't pronounce. I'm trying to, oh, see, seeds. It just says seeds. It doesn't say a oh, coconut oil, um, citrus, lemon. I'm not sure what a lot of aloe in this one. Um, I'm not sure what the little gently buffs and preps the skin. Maybe it's just the sea, maybe it's the sea salt, right? Salt. You know what? I'm gonna say it's the salt. And is the salt at the end or the top of the list? Sea salt. I'm not even seeing it. I don't wanna waste any more time reading. So there we go. Again, $5.99, will it work? I don't know, is it a gimmick? I don't know. But I've been hearing a lot of great things about this brand, so I am willing to make the $5 investment. I will use it until it's gone, and I will be back with an empties review because I do like watching empties because I'm not in it to see a bunch of products that someone doesn't use or they got for free. Um, I've never gotten anything for free. Buy everything with my own money. Uh, obviously, I will let you know if I do. I mean, obviously, that would be a blessing, but anyway, so... This is what um, I will use and I will let you know if anyone's used it, let me know. Let me know how it worked um, so that you know we could be either disappointed together or not. <laughs> okay, so I just, again, I just got this short hair and um, a lot of people like 
This is called Road Trip Instant Refresh Dry Shampoo. Um, I wash my hair every few days. Like, I wash it twice a week. Okay. Um, and I love volume. You know, everybody else is using straightening irons. No, give me some big Texas 80s girl hair. So this is why I bought this. I haven't used it yet. It just says it adds texture and volume, and that is what I'm about with this short hair. Texas, uh, Texas, Texas. Let me smell it. I haven't sprayed it yet. Let's see. Oh, wow, powerful. I don't smell anything, but you know what? Let's just give it a go. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, it smells good. Um, and you put it under. You lift your hair and you put it under. You're not, you don't use it on the root. You put it under for volume. That smells very fresh with a, a tinge of baby powder scent, which I really love. Okay, so it's kind of flat, as you could see. You lift it, and then that's how you use volumizing texture spray and even dry shampoo. Oh my gosh, I like it. Boy, that smells really good. Again, I have no idea what scent that is, and I've actually never even heard of Road Trip um, dry shampoo. I'm not one that usually buys dry shampoo, so I really don't know much about it. I used to use, ooh, let's see, uh, Y2K Days. I think it was a Victoria's Secret one that came out, and I bought it just for the smell. Um, there's another one that begins with B. The name is Escaping Me. That's pretty much... That's the one that like everybody talks about is the one that begins with a B. <laughs> um, absorbs impurities while adding texture volume to next day hair. Again, that was $6.99. I think it's pretty equivalent to any other dry shampoo that you would get at Walmart or Target. And I'm trying to see, you get eight ounces, eight ounces. All right, next is something else that I should have looked a little more closely. So I bought this. I'm not usually into concealers. I usually don't even use concealers, but I'm noticing since I've been filming YouTube videos that I do have dark circles. Normally I would use the ordinary caffeine drops and that's supposed to tighten the skin. But as far as dark circles goes, I wanted to try this. And this is Teen Again. <laughs> I don't want to be a teen again. Teen Again Brightening Eye Cream Concealer with Vitamin C, with vitamin C and Niacinamide. Um... Anyways, I don't know. When I looked at it and I saw the skin, I thought it was a color, like a, a colored concealer. The only concealer I currently own is by Colleen Rothschild. Um, and it's like a pinky nude color. So anyways, this is what it looks like. Again, I haven't opened it. And you know what? It looks like someone maybe already opened it or that it squeezed out because I haven't opened it and I should have. Oh, maybe just someone squeezed that. Okay, it is a color. I thought it was just, I, I wanted it because I wanted I wanted it to be a color. And when I bought it and I saw, when I got home and read it, I thought it was just white. But it does say brightening. It doesn't say anything about being a color. Velvet tip applicator. And let's just show you the color. Um, I don't know. It's a very, very light, light pale. If you're an ivory skin girl, you will love this. No odor at all. Um, do I want to try it? I guess. Why the heck not, right? I'm, a, I'm looking at my camera phone, so I know I should be looking there, but I need to see what I'm doing. So that's a very dark circle right there. And we're going to cover it up. It's very cooling. And, oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to just pat it. I don't have a beauty blender or anything here. Oh my goodness. All right. We're not professional. We're just keeping it real here. And it may look awful, but that's okay. Again, it's called Teen Again. And did I say how much? Did I blend it in? I don't even know. I don't see no difference. But again, you can't use something one time. It's not going to be life-changing. Um, no odor. And I will use it until it's done. And then I will let you know my thoughts. Um, it is 21 mil. Oh, made in Korea. Korea skin is supposed to be really popular right now. And it has been for probably about five years. So I don't even want to say right now. Um, $5.99 at Marshalls. I think that's pretty good for any concealer. That's even cheaper than drugstore prices. And I would redo the ingredients right there, but as you can see, it's in, it's not in English. So, yeah, it says it, it just, it gets rid of dark circles naturally. So we'll see. Okay, we are getting down there, guys. Bedhead, Tiki Queen for the Day Thickening Spray, again. With the short hair, I use the dry, you know, wanted to try the dry shampoo for instant volume and texture. This looks like it's gonna be really good. I really do love bedhead. That is kind of old school. It was 1099. 
For me, it's a little pricey, but I, I, I feel like it would probably would have been a $14.99 or even $16.99 at the hair salon. Again, I'm not familiar with this product, although I, I do like the bed head. It comes in a pink uh, container and it just adds shine. The names escape me, but I've, I've been using that for like 10 years. So I'm anxious to try this. And you know what? <laughs> we went from nothing in the hair except for a blow dry and a shampoo to all the things in the hair. So uh, let's just see how much texture. Um, smells good, smells fresh. Definitely more, um, I mean, it's not a dry shampoo. It's wet, sham wet. It's, it's very wet. It kind of smells like soda pop. <laughs> Okay, so let that dry and volume. We're all about the volume. Okay, so, and I did say that was $10.99. All right, next is Shea Moisture. And this is Hold Body and Shine for Roller Sets and Twist Outs. So if you have naturally curly hair, which I definitely do not, I have bone straight hair, but what it said for roller sets. And so I have been fooling around and trying to make vintage hairstyle. Um, nothing good enough to make a video. I'm not a professional roller. I have to watch YouTube videos myself to show me how to do it right. Um, I did talk to a lady yesterday and she said, you're always supposed to roll under, not up. I always thought you were supposed to roll up for volume, but she said under. So um, I'm going to try this. I mean, when I watch vintage uh, videos on curly hair, they always say use a setting lotion. And this kind of, when I saw it and read it, I was thinking setting lotion. I don't know if it is or not. Ooh, dripping all over. That smells really, really good. And this was only $6.99. And Shea Moisture, no parabens. Um, phthalates, no mineral oil, no animal testing, no petroleum jelly. And made with fair trade Shea Butter. 7.5 ounces. And it was, again, $6.99. And I have seen this at Walmart and Target before. Um, I'm not sure if it would be cheaper there or would it be more money? $6.99. I don't know. $6.99, it kind of felt like, because I know this would last me probably for a couple years. So, again. Okay, so my last item. This is, I would say, there may be people that disagree, so trigger warning here, but this smells exactly like bum bum cream to me. So, this is praline and pistachio. Audi perfume, Marshall 1699, 100 ml, 3.4 ounces. It is a big, big bottle. And it's a it's very warm and gourmet type of scent. This is a cold weather scent. I wouldn't wear this in the summertime, although it's summer and I would love to wear it. But I will not wear it because it would be definitely overpowering in the summer. Uh, cute little story time while I was at Marshall's. I had a lady stop me, you know, a lady about my age, and she just asked me, um, to help her choose a perfume. Um, and she said to choose one that her husband would like. And I'm like, well, my husband loves, you know, this, this smell, this is like a bum bum cream smell. And she didn't know what that was, but pistachio and caramel and yummy like food scents. And so this is what, um, I suggested and we each got one. Smells so good. So good. Okay, so that is it, guys. That is it for my Marshalls haul. I'll probably do another Marshalls haul around the holidays. I was thinking about doing Vlogmas. I don't know. Um, but I do usually go to Marshalls for stocking stuffers for my kids. And, um, yeah, so I'll probably do one more haul. This was the first haul that I've done in... I think this is my, the first haul for my channel anyways. Again, I usually don't go to Marshalls and TJ Maxx for myself. But, um... I was at a buy sell, buy sell trade store, which was Uptown Cheapskate, um, and that will be a completely different video. Not happy about that. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe if you've already done so. Comment below if you are a YouTuber, if you are a reseller, or if you are just a beauty junkie and you're interested in videos, comment below and subscribe. My name is Michelle, and I'm so glad that you're here. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.